Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the super blood wolf moon happening January 20th slash January 21st. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is actually I pulled a couple of cards um, to do the reading basically for this super blood moon or this super blood wolf moon. And a lot of information came through regarding the energy of this moon and what this means along with sort of where we are and where this moon sort of serves as like a marker on our ascension process or our ascension path. So I brought through all this information last night um, when I read the cards and I'm just going to be reading the transmission for this video. If you want to read along, I'm going to post the link to the blog below and you can read the transmission to this reading. So I pulled two cards for the reading of today's super blood moon and what came through was the transformation card and the intimacy card and I'll go through these cards one by one. Um, so for the transformation card, what came through was this intense fiery energy um, and what it's shown on the card is this phoenix, this fiery phoenix rising from the ashes. And I've been speaking a lot about how intense the energy at the beginning of this year has been for a lot of us, myself included. Lots of purging energy, these heightened physical ascension symptoms, intense emotions coming to the surface, and even dark night of the soul for some of you. Basically, lots of higher vibrational ascension energy coming at us to really get us on the path towards letting go of lower 3D vibrations and preparing us emotionally, physically, mentally, energetically, and spiritually for the receival and integration of higher vibrations. And what came through when reading this card was Abe basically was using myself as an example. And what came through was that this intense physical purging time that I've been going through has really taken a lot out of me. And it's something that has been going on for me physically for a few years now. Um, and I've gotten to the point where... I'm kind of feeling down in the pits, not knowing when I'm going to be getting better and start to physically start healing and completely healing. But throughout the whole process, throughout all these years, I've been keeping blind faith that I'll be fully healed one day. And so they showed me rising up from the ashes, just like the phoenix in this card. And all the work that I've done going through all the hoops in this purging process, all the difficulties, but keeping that blind faith through it all, they're showing me that now is the time for that phoenix to rise. And another image that I've been using in past videos is that it's now time for the butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. And what came through was that as it does so, as the phoenix rises from the ashes, as the butterfly begins to emerge from the cocoon, it emerges fast and strong. It is you fully transformed from that caterpillar into the butterfly, from the ashes into the phoenix. Your energy emerges stronger, fiercer, more radiant and blinding. And they're showing me how Goku turns into the Super Saiyan for any of you who have ever watched Dragon Ball Z. Maybe it's not the most common reference, but if you happen to know that reference, um, he basically turns into like this super amped up um, warrior fighter or something. Um, but they're saying that it's like in the Phoenix, it's like the Phoenix in the card uh, basically what they're trying to say is that your hard work is paying off and you're becoming this transformed, strengthened version of yourself. More in alignment with what you want, more in alignment with your soul mission and your soul purpose. So it's like telling you that it's time. It's like you're now sort of ready to fully step into your mission and step into your purpose as a light worker for those of you light workers um 
but basically it's like you've gone through all of this to prepare your body to receive these higher energies and although there's still more higher energy to in integrate and incorporate you're kind of at this place in which you can now focus on what is your mission and how can you step forward in your mission they also said that many of you light workers have been doing the work and you've been on your path and helping people, but with this new transformation energy of this um, super blood moon and also of 2019, you may begin to see bigger and more expansive shifts opening up for you on your path. The energy of this super blood wolf moon strengthens you on your journey like you've never seen before. Even the energy or the image of the wolf howling for the wolf moon, it's like this claiming or exclamation that you are here, you are magnificent, you are strengthened, you are taking your place. This moon is shown to me in a sort of like, sort of like a marker in the ascension escalator or the ascension process that we're in of being this strengthened energy or this marker for strengthened energy. They said it's a time in which you put sort of like a stake in the ground as a significant reference point, if that makes sense, meaning that there's no going back, basically. There's only going forward from here. And they're showing me how a rock climber has been climbing this big gigantic rock and finally the rock climber is reaching a plateau or a place in which it can or in which they can sort of have some rest or find some rest. Um, so it's like there may still be more rock of the mountain ahead to climb but for now at least there is this space in the mountain in which they can just rest and they can just kind of catch their breath and um, relax for a moment and what happens is the rock climber is able to rest and soak in the views and drink some water and eat something and gain strength maybe pitch a tent for the night but basically this is where you make that stronger transformation for your next climb um, it gives you the rest but it also it gives you this period of transforming fully so that you can continue ahead if that makes sense basically what came through for the reason of this entire uh, vision of the rock climber was that they said a significant phase is complete that was the point and what came through was that this phase that is coming to an end or is that that is reaching completion is the phase of the ascension progression that began around the year 2012. So they said some of you hopped onto this phase or this wave before 2012, some of you hopped on after. But regardless, this ascension phase from approximately 2012 to right now, January 20th, 2019, is complete with the January 20th and January 21st super blood wolf moon. The energy of completion of this phase, as well as this strong phoenix rising from the ashes transformation energy that um, we speak about, will open in people in waves, depending upon where each person is vibrationally. So some people are ready to receive this powerful transformation energy right away with the super blood wolf moon in full effect happening right now. Others will receive this transformation energy when they are ready. So the energy of this moon will last for several days, but will integrate in the collective during this time. So for those of you who are open to receiving this energy, it's going to be made readily available for you at this moment. And for others who are not open to receiving this energy quite yet, it's going to be stored within you in your cellular memory. And when you're ready to receive this powerful transformation energy, your new open cells will activate it strongly within you. 
So not all of the collective are on the same page. Not everyone is in the same place to go through the ascension process the same way. But the energies that are hitting the planet are available to each person when they're basically ready to open to receive it. If they're not ready right now, as the wave of energy hits the planet, they will store that energy within their cellular memory, within their energy, and it will open in waves within them when they're ready to receive it. Um, but at the same time, the whole collective is affected um, on this larger scale. So we're talking about um, the micro and macro. So the collective is affected on a macro scale by this intense energy wave from the super blood wolf moon, as well as the energy waves coming to the planet. And we're all affected as that collective group. But at the same time, we're affected individually. So on an individual micro scale, if you're ready to receive the energies um, within your own personal energy, you will be open to receiving it. If you're not ready, then you will still integrate the energy, but it won't quite open within you until you're ready for it, is what they're trying to say. People are asking about those who will be left behind if they are not quite ready to receive energies in the planetary alignments or waves that are hitting the planet. A question is, will they miss the boat? And what Abe brought through is that, well, you should know by now that there are always more and more boats coming to the harbor for you. If you miss a boat, another boat will come for you. In terms of these energy waves towards ascension happening on your planet, these waves will not keep coming again and again for those who miss the waves or are not ready to integrate the energy of the higher vibrational waves. So keep in mind again what I just said about the waves hitting the planet and um, affecting the entire collective as well as you on an individual level, the micro and the macro. This is basically saying the same thing on how the macro energy wave won't keep hitting the planet, but you will integrate it within you for when you are ready to open that wave within yourself. They go on to say that these big energy waves are aligning to the energy of your planet and your collective. What happens is these waves of energy hit the planet and are integrated into the entire population, the entire collective, at the same time. Some of you are ready to integrate and receive them. Many of you are not. For those who are not ready, the waves of energy are stored in your cellular memory and DNA. These waves of energy are then opened up within you as internal waves of stored energy for when you are ready to integrate and receive them. Nobody will be left behind on the ascension escalator unless you desire to intentionally be left behind on a soul level. If this happens, then you just choose not to open up to integrate these higher vibrational waves of energy that are opening up within you and that are stored within you. Everyone will ascend in the timing and in the way in which they are meant to in perfect timing. There will be many waves and you will catch the wave or the boat per se that you align to on a soul level. This super blood wolf moon is simply a closing of a chapter and an opening up into a new one. In this new chapter, you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. You are the butterfly emerging from the cocoon. This energy is the energy of open creative energy. It is energy of transformation. This is why we have called 2019 the year of transformation. Keep in mind, however, the purpose of the phase between approximately 2012 to 2019 was to strongly open you into the energy of transformation. But 2019 is the energy in which this phase of transformation, years in the making, finally begins to take shape. 
Although your collective will open this energy wave at different times because you're not all in the same place vibrationally on the ascension escalator, many of you will open this transformation energy wave sometime this year. 2019 is one of those larger waves, so to speak, in which you move as a larger group into the next phase of the ascension process. This year, 2019, is the year in which many will plant their feet into the next phase or the next chapter of the book, whatever you want to call it, and the super blood wolf moon, the energy of transformation, the energy of creation, is what kicks it off. So the next card that I pulled for this reading of the Super Blood Wolf Moon is the Intimacy card. And this card tells me that it is the energy of what we are moving into in the next phase of the Ascension process, beginning this year, 2019, with this Super Blood Wolf Moon. So what came through was that this next phase is about strengthening the energy of love in the self and love for others. They said that in your previous phase of transformation from 2012 to 2019 or up until now, um, you have been working on yourself. We have been working on ourselves um, physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, energetically, going through this transformation process within ourselves into these higher vibrational beings or beings being able to hold higher vibration. They said many of you in this process have come to know love and experience love in a higher degree. Many of you have opened your hearts to giving and receiving love. They said that we want you to know that there is an opening in this next phase, an opening of even higher love in your 5D New Earth planet, or at least the 5D New Earth energy or illusion um, that's happening and that's taking place. The love in your current reality is very much still 3D love. Opening up into unconditional love is very much like opening a stuck drawer. It is not easy, but when you get it unstuck, there is much that pours out. Right now, 3D love is very much conditional. Even many light workers struggle with fully opening up into unconditional love. The reality of conditions very much play a huge part in your everyday ability to love to your ultimate 5D selves. For example, and they use me as an example, they said that Jessica very much holds unconditional love for herself and others. However, opening fully into unconditional love, which Jessica sometimes struggles with, is holding love very much for others who may do harm to you or hurt you in any way. She has questioned her experiences lately of coming across a few people in her awareness being rude to her in unexpected ways. And we want to say that these experiences have opened up for her to open her up to unconditional love to a higher degree. If you feel hurt by others in any way, to be able to hold unconditional love is to hold a space of love for them despite what they do or say to you, however nasty it could be. It is not easy in the moment when your 3D emotions come through, but this is what this next phase of the ascension process is about, learning to hold the space of not love, but unconditional love for yourself and for others, regardless of what strong emotions or actions or behaviors may be taking place. This will be tested by many of you in the years to come. Source or God does not test you, but it is the open energy of your experiences on your planet, which is why you incarnated in the first place, that open these sort of tests, what you like to call, in your reality in order for you to learn from and grow from. 
these experiences with rude people that Jessica has come across lately are not because we, Abe, opened these tests, so to speak, for her. They opened themselves up to her, called on by her ever-expanding soul as ways for her to open up to the new challenge of understanding and embodying unconditional love for others despite the behaviors, actions, and words that may be used against you. It's easy to have unconditional love for others when everything is going your way and there is not a care in the world. But you open true understanding of unconditional love when you are faced with the exact opposite of what you desire. So I asked, how does this all work within the realm of manifestation? And what came through was that the open energy of manifestation is actually working with you when these experiences come into effect because your soul is desiring the expansion and when you know and understand your ascension journey, you know and understand that there are certain loops or bridges that need crossing in order to get to the other side. You know that you cannot open into higher vibrational energy if you have a hard time with the lower vibrations, if you have a hard time loving yourself and loving others. You know that you cannot open into higher vibrational energy if you cannot easily forgive or share or love or and or and or. You know that if you hold lower vibrational energy, that's not going to fly in these higher vibrational 5D New Earth living situations. So on a soul level, as well as a conscious or subconscious level, or maybe unconscious level too, you know that you have to fully release all of these lower vibrational energies in order to fully open up into higher vibrational energies, and especially in order to open up into 5D New Earth energy. Love in 3D is often misunderstood. There are so many conditions to when and how you love on your planet. To love someone who loves you or does nice things to and for you, or says hello to you and good morning, that's easy. But to love someone like, dare we even say, your President Donald Trump, or the murderers and rapists on your planet, and we know that this will not go over very well for some of you, but please hear us out, but to love even the worst, lowest of the lowest of your kind, to love even the person who did or said the worst, most horrible thing to you, to love even that person you don't know or have any connection to, to love each and every person, place, thing, an event, even creature on your planet, not for what they did or who they are or what they stand for, but for the soul mere soul fact that you are all connected and you are all one. That is unconditional love. If you take away everything on your planet, every physical thing on your planet, and leave only energy, you all float seamlessly in the forever expanding ocean of the universe in oneness. The next phase of the ascension process is learning how to unconditionally love each other. You, standing firm in your new transformation, you're rising as a phoenix through the ashes. You're going to find events, experiences, and things unfold in front of you that's going to open your ability to unconditionally love or conditionally love. You have the opportunity to choose. This is not a test to get to 5D New Earth. We are merely trying to open your heart and open your eyes in a way that leaps you into the next phase of holding and becoming higher vibrational energy. 
we are preparing you through this transmission and through all of our transmissions to open your energy into higher, even higher vibrations so that you can hold the vibration of 5D New Earth and help lead those who are still struggling in the lower vibrations of 3D Earth to seek greener pastures, greener, higher vibrational pastures in the new age of enlightenment. In oneness, we are Abe. Oneness and love be with you.